It's tax season. Should I repeat that? <laughs> Shockingly, Americans left more than a billion dollars in unclaimed refunds on the table last year. And the Affordable Care Act, well, that'll affect returns and presumably add to the confusion. Richard Gartland joins us this morning, and he might look familiar. He's appeared in a few widely viewed commercials. He's really a senior tax preparer at H&R Blog, not just an actor. Hi, Richard. Good morning, Mary. The stadium commercial, that's my favorite, for what that's worth. Uh, what are the oh, most... Oh, great. Yeah, <laughs> I love that one. Yeah, the most overlooked tax breaks, the areas where we could be missing out on a lot of money here. Well, you know, as you mentioned, it's over a billion dollars that got left on the table last year. And the main areas where that happens is with deductions or credits not claimed or not taken. Deductions, itemized versus standard. A lot of people just take the standard because it's easier. But there may be a lot of money left on the table there. And with education credits, child tax credits, earned income credit, these are all worth money. Education credit, up to $2,500. Child tax credit, $1,000 per child. And earned income credit can be up to $6,000 for a family. One in five people who qualified for earned income credit last year didn't take it. That's a lot of money mm. left behind. What about the Affordable Care Act? How do you think that will affect our returns? Well, you know, the Affordable Care Act is the biggest single change to the tax code in, in the last 20 years. And it's, it's created a lot of confusion. This is the year that people need to have coverage. And if they don't, they're going to be paying penalties on next year's tax return. It's a very confusing area. We are hearing lots of news, lots of things on the news about difficulties with getting it. We've developed a website called health.com that's specific to this area. It gives people the ability to read uh, read our, our frequently asked questions or chat with somebody or talk to somebody live on the phone who can help them through that process, help them get the coverage they need and avoid, uh, avoid penalties and maybe qualify for subsidies to help pay those premiums. Richard, we have less than a minute here. Uh, back to some of these common mistakes in particular when we do our own taxes. Um, what do you see as a professional? You know, I think probably the most common thing we see uh, uh, on returns when we do our second looks are people not taking those education credits mm -hmm. or the child tax credit. Uh, those are two big ones, and they're just plain money in your pocket. You know, that's $2,500, $1,000 per child. These are biggies that doing. The next area, we've got people who are not itemizing, particularly when you've bought a home. You're going to have mortgage interest. You're going to have uh, property taxes. All of these are deductible mm -hmm. if you itemize. Do you get recognized from your commercials, Richard? You know, I do. Uh, but the funniest one is I've had a couple of people come into the office and look at me and they say, you know, you look so much like that guy on TV. <laughs> and that's, that's my favorite reaction, that's to tell you great. the truth. Uh, remind <laughs> us of that website, then we'll let you go. Right. We've got information available. There's two ways to get it, hrblock.com, 1-800-HR-BLOCK. We're Thanks. here to help you get your share of the billion dollars back. Well, I wouldn't mind. Thanks, Richard. <laughs> Thanks, Mary. It's been a pleasure. Likewise. Mike.